Hi, my name is Brian. I'm a web and graphics specialist, and today I am going to show you how to display a modal using CSS. So right now, I have a web page set up here on my right in Firefox, and on the left, I have two text edit files, one with my HTML and one with my CSS. And I'm going to create a modal pop-up on this page. Now, as you can see on the top left-hand side, I already have a modal text uh, written up here. Uh, this is just two divs I created. One div is going to be for the pop-up itself, uh, and that has an H2 of, uh, with text in it just to declare something on the page. And I have a second div that's going to cover the entire background of the page to give that modal effect to the pop-up. Um, but you need two divs, two separate divs, not inside of each other, just two completely separate divs. Okay. So this is what it looks like without any CSS styling. Now we're going to add some styling to make this actually look like a modal pop-up. So I'm going to go into my external style sheet, and I'm going to target the first div of my modal, and I'm going to give this several uh, rule declarations. So let's just give it a width of 200 pixels, a height of 100 pixels, a margin of auto, uh, a position absolute, uh, with a top of 30% and a left of 30%. The position absolute will place this div on top of everything else in the page. It'll separate it from the general layout so that it goes over everything. And I'm going to make the top and the left 30% because I want to account for the width of the pop-up in order to center it properly. It's not going to be exact, but it'll be close. I'm going to go background color black. And uh, I'll just add a padding of 10 pixels. And next important thing is to add a Z index. A Z index del delineates the order of layering for your div. So I'm going to put this at 999 just to make sure that it's on top of everything else. Now the second div is going to have more classes, my modal container. Okay. Uh, I'll give this a width of 100%, a height of 100%, a background color of gray. Okay. Uh, I'll set the opacity to 0.5. And I'm also going to set this position to absolute, but since it's 100% width and height, there's no reason to position it uh, with percentages. Let's hit save and see how that looks. OK, so now I have my modal pop up. Uh, you can see the gray area is covering up the entire page. Um, I just got to put a little semicolon here. OK, so now it's covering the whole page. And I have my black pop up in the middle and the gray uh, area that you would click on to close it normally in the background. Now, you're going to have to use jQuery in order to set the functionality of the modal, but that's how you set up a CSS modal uh, for the styling and the HTML. And that's it. My name is Brian, and thanks for watching.